Make your way to your floor, grab your weights, and you don't have to use weights if you don't want to, okay? Let's go all the way down. We're gonna start with some bridge exercises. So go ahead and bridge up, and bring one arm up and down, and then just continue bridging, just lifting those arms up and down. I will give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit in you. Isn't that good news? As we turn to the Lord and receive Him in our life, He's going to give us a new heart and a new spirit. Now on this one, we're going to work triceps with the bridge. So what we're going to do is just bridge up, just bring those weights straight up, bring those elbows close to you as you come down. Create in me a clean and pure heart, O Lord, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. And that is our prayer, right? That the Lord would renew a steadfast spirit and a clean heart in each one of us. So exhale as you bridge up. Use your glutes to do this. Make sure your back is protected. Your navel is to your spine, so you're pulled in through your belly. You lift up with an exhale, lower down with an inhale. A few more of these. One more. For this next one, you can use one or two weights. So I'm just going to take one and bring it back over the head and go up into a bridge, bring the weight out in front and then a lower down. Blessed are the pure in heart. God blesses those pure in heart for they shall see God, right? They will live eternally with him and we are with them, right? Blessed are the pure in heart, for we are going to see God and live with Him eternally. All right, feeling this through the lats and the shoulders, and if you need to rest at any time during this workout, you just do that, okay? I need you to deep breathe from the diaphragm. Bring those ribs in and lift up through your glutes. One more of these and then lower down. Now we're going to use both weights. We're going back up into a bridge and you can keep your arms on the floor and go into a hammer curl, all right? You can definitely do that. You can also open up the palms and angle those arms and bring them in and out. You can also, if you want to, bring the head up. That's totally up to you. I, the Lord, search the heart and test the mind. There it is. God searches our hearts and he tests our mind. So are you going through a test right now? Through a challenge and through a trial and how are you handling it? Are you bringing it before the Lord and say, Lord, here I am. I need your help with this. Father, this is hard. This is difficult, but I know with you, you will sustain me and you will help me and you will help me get through this strong and bold with courage. One more of these. And lower down, give that spine a rest for a few seconds. Bring the arms out and keep the elbows bent. Take a deep inhale and bring those arms up and then fly them back down. All right, so we're working on the chest and the arms under the arms and the hips and the glutes, and you know the bridge is so healing for the back and the spine. But as for me, in my house, I will live for the Lord, right? We're gonna set our hearts on the Lord and do what He's calling us to do. So lift up strongly and then lower down. We know that the Lord judges our hearts, so we want to make sure they're pure. We want to bring them before Him every single day. Lord, have your way with us. Have your way with us, Father. Lower down, rest the spine again. We're going back up into a bridge and alternate our press. So just one arm at a time, just reach up there. Exhale, remember to lift from your glutes. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He is. And He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. 
He does. He is so close to those who are broken and he comes alongside of them and he lifts them up. He gives them strength and peace. He gives them all that they need. Hasn't he done that for you? He's done that for me. He'll do that for anyone who calls on his name. One more press up and then slowly roll down through your spine. Go into a tabletop position. Just hold right here. And then you can place the weights down if you want. On this one, I'm going to just tap down. Now, really use that core. Pull in, pull in strong. You can also place the hands back behind your head and hold. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God. And he promises to direct your path, to show you which way to go, to show you what to do, what to say in each and every situation and circumstance. All right, you should be feeling this deep in that core, just pulling in strong. I know this looks easy, but you know it's not if you're doing these with me. And let's do that one more on each leg, keeping those legs contracted and then carefully coming out of it. I hope you enjoyed that. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our bodies on Shaped by Faith. Let's go back to that tabletop position. So lower yourself down to the floor, pull the belly in, legs up. Bring your hands back behind the head and just gently curl up. If you need to modify this one, just place your feet on the floor and continue curling. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. That's with everything. Love God with everything you have. And he will show you his will. He will give you direction. He will give you insight. Guaranteed, he will give you discernment. And um, he'll show you which way to go. He always does. Just stay connected to him and love him and place him first in your life. So work on that. Place God first in your life. Lower down. Arms can go out or they can move in towards your body. And then you can modify this with your feet down. This is a knee drop. So I want you to stay in tabletop position and bring those knees to one side and hold right there. Light shines on the godly. Enjoy on those whose hearts are right and set on Christ. When you're doing the right thing, and you're going in the right direction, even though other people may say differently, but you know that you know you are and you're doing what God has called you to do, you have this peace and you have the presence of Christ within you and you have a knowing in your heart that what you're doing is what God has called you to do. Just be His light, just continue to be His light Bring the legs back up. We're going right in a single leg stretch. So you can come up if you want or keep the head down. You can also modify, flex those feet and then alternate those legs one at a time. And breathe. This one you need to really focus in on your breathing. Set Christ apart as Lord over your heart and in your heart. Set him apart. Let Christ rule your heart and help you with your mindset. Keep stretching. I love this one for the stretch, but I also feel this in the deep core muscles. If it bothers the neck, again, you can lie it all the way down. Just take your time on this one because we are going into a really hard one after this. It's called the crisscross. It's the number one exercise to flatten the stomach. So keep your legs going. Place your hands back behind the head and then cross over. Slow it down. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you, right? 
that always happens. Cleanse your hands and purify your hearts. And Lord, help us with that. Purify our hearts, Lord, through you. All right, this crisscross is no joke. I mean, it's challenging to do, all right? But I know you can do it. So keep doing it and keep that core pulled in, feeling this strong through your powerhouse, through the obliques, all through your abdominals. A few more. Let's go into a back stretch. You are doing so well. Grab your weights or just use your arms if you want to. We are going back to that single leg stretch. I know you wanted to hear that. So go back to the single leg stretch and press those arms up. Press them up. All right, this scripture verse, listen to this one. Put me on trial, Lord, and cross examine me and test my motives and my heart. Have you ever asked God to do that? To put you on trial? That's a hard one. It really is a hard one. Test my heart, Lord. Cross examine me, Father. Show me things that don't belong in the heart. And Father, take them out of me. Uproot them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Last one. Bring the feet down. Cross one leg over and then take the weight in your opposite hand. And we're gonna go up in a bridge, go up in a bridge, and then cross that weight over to the opposite shoulder. So really working bicep, triceps here, working hips. If it bothers you, just go back to a normal bridge, okay? They will have no fear of bad news, right? Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Even if we get bad news, we are going to trust in the Lord, right? We're going to be steadfast. We're going to stand on our faith and on the word of the Lord. His word will help us and shield us and also protect us. All right, this is a one-legged bridge. You should feel this stretch and feel the strength in this exercise. One more. Carefully lower, down, roll down through your spine, switch out. Opposite leg will cross, opposite arm will come up, and then cross over to that other shoulder. So again, working triceps and working biceps and glutes and hips. For with the heart, one believes and is justified. And with our mouth, we confess and are saved, right? So let's ask the Lord to strongly come into our hearts today if he's not already there, okay? If you're a believer, he's there. You just need to activate your faith and pray and encourage others and bless one another. Be an encouragement to someone. Go out there and bless someone today. Let's do two more of these. And last one and then carefully roll back down. All right, how'd you do with that one? 